I'm doing today is something I saw Alec Lacasse do. He made a uh, he made a flower. So I think I'm going to make a flower for the mothers in my life. Just drawing out the flower. It's gonna have five petals. Doesn't have to be perfect. Nature isn't perfect. Just kind of go with what you want to go with. I didn't measure any of this out, so it's kind of do how you want to do it. You can make six petals, eight petals, ten petals, two petals. Just use your own imagination. Take the edges off first. It's always nice to take off the hard edges so they don't jab into your hand. You can do this out of almost any type of wood. Eastern white pine. You can even do it out of a flat piece of wood. Taking off the top. It's going to have to be thinned out anyway. You can take smaller cuts. Not as big cuts as I'm doing. And I cut, I cut my lines in so I don't lose them. Make a stop cut here where the where the pot's gonna be. Stop cut straight in and then relieve the wood up to the stop cut. This is all going to have to be removed anyway, but this just makes sure you don't lose your lines whenever you're first starting out and you're carving. This is basswood, but it's a little harder than what I'm used to. They say if it comes from the north, it's a lot tougher than the southern basswood. Well, from the southern cool areas. I'm going to have to say this is probably from the north. I don't remember where I got it. Just continuing to cut, make a stop cut and relieve the wood up to where the stem is going to be from the pot. This material is going to have to be removed all the way up to the stem. But you also don't want to make it so thin there that you risk breaking it when you're when you're handling it while you're carving. Still rounding out the top. 
trying to thin it down a little bit here. I don't want to make it too thin around where the stem is going to be because I don't want it to come off my hand when I'm trying to get it done. But all this material right here at the corner has to be removed anyway. So I just go back and forth between looking at the at the flower in the pot. Basswood normally isn't a hardwood. It's pretty easy to carve. Holds the carve right. But this piece is overly stubborn. And one of the hardest pieces of basswood I've ever carved into. Gonna start thinning out the petals here. Got a lot to thin out. I'm gonna leave the middle of the flower a little proud of everything else. Kind of doing some scooping cuts here. Making stop cuts up, trying to make a circle. Cutting in the bottom piece or the bottom petal I should say to give it a little bit more form so I can see what I need to take off I'm making notches on the outside where the petals are going to be. Making reference cuts. The cuts are, are V cuts. I'm going all the way around to the back. Just taking, taking stuff off. I think I'm going to leave. Um, I think I'm going to leave some leaves here and here. We'll see closer I get. Just trying to clean it up as I go. Just slow. Be careful. Just 
taking a little bit bigger cuts here off the face. Trying to thin everything out a little bit. But maintaining the middle. This is going to be a pansy-ish type flower. One of my mom's favorite flowers. Just trying to make some scooping cuts around the edge here. And continuing to thin the petals out. Thinning everything out. Trying to get the top rounded out a little more to the shape that I want. Of course, when you look at it, you're always, or at least I'm always looking for something to trim down. Redraw the lines here. Trying to help myself. This pedal down here on the bottom is. They're kind of hard to thin out. At least I found them hard to thin out without trying to cut where I was thinking of putting the leaves. making some stop cuts and relieving the wood up to the stop cuts. Still doing a scooping cut, trying to thin the edges of the leaves down a little bit. I've done a couple of these and in the future it's almost I, I might try using just a, a flat piece rather than a triangle piece they still turned out good at least I think they turned out good Always looking, always thinning, 
especially on this project. This is taking a lot of thinning down. If you're just starting out, maybe starting with a flat piece of wood might not be so so rough as doing a triangle. Rounding over some more. Starting to cut in the pot here taking off the sharp edges and start rounding it taking some pretty big cuts here keep moving my cut protector start dividing the petals again I keep telling myself to leave this part alone but I keep going back to it. More scooping cuts to thin out the petals. Being that I'm going to be practicing my guitar and playing, uh, I thought I might put something on it. Working on the pot. Down at the bottom. Taking some pretty big chunks out at a time. This wood is just still harder than what I'm used to with basswood. Just keep plugging away. These are kind of scooping cuts. I want a little form to the pot. I am going to make a lip on it. For me, it's just always back and forth, back and forth, check, cut, thin. That's with all of my carvings.
I don't know why I keep going back to this. I've got so much material to remove. Draw my lines in again. Back to rounding and thinning. Make some V cuts here to separate the petals. Cutting around the middle for the stamen. I'm just going straight in at this point. Kind of making stab cuts. Chip out the excess around it. It doesn't have to be pretty at this point. Still have a lot of material to remove. So it's going to look a little rough for a little bit. Continuing some V cuts to separate the petals. I still have a lot to thin down on the petals. They're way too thick. This is going to be a magnet, so it's going to have a flat back on it. And I'll put some magnets on it so mom or, or whoever else I make these for can hang them on their refrigerators or their desks it'll stand up by itself so all depends on what they want to do with them they make good fire starters too defining the leaf a little bit here Just a, a triangle cut. Puts a little more shadow into it. Not that this is a, a real type carving. I'm not that good yet. But it looks like a flower. So I guess it is a flower. Thinning it down a little bit.
it can still be a little thicker than normal just because it's gonna be on the back it's got a flat back so it will sit next to something or like i said i'm gonna put magnets on it or want to put magnets on it so she can hang it on the refrigerator I thought about making it with a snake around it, but I think mom would not appreciate that. Turning out the leaf here. Trying to make a leaf that has a little dimension to it. Wouldn't have thought these leaves would have taken this long. A lot of material to take out. Back to thin in the petals. <sighs> More V cuts for the the petals. making them pretty deep I'll thin some from the back too to give it a little little more interest than just a, a flat top
taken off the edges to kind of round it over here. Make it a little more realistic. I'm doing some scooping cuts here to make the petals kind of swoop out. I'll have to cut the dividing lines again. Careful when you're doing it from the back side here. Making the dividing lines deeper. Kind of lost them whenever I was doing all the scoop cuts. but I'm getting pretty close to the end here. At least I feel that I'm getting close. I know you can waste a lot of time on details. Now, let me rephrase that. You don't waste time on it. You just have to know when to say when. 
you want it to look ultra realistic, then it's going to take a lot longer. This is a should be a short 45 minute whittle. This is the second one I've done after seeing it from from Alex. He's a good teacher. Just thinning out the petals some here. It's in kind of a scooping motion. Well, I think this is going to be it. I'll make a one more cut and that's going to do it thanks for watching